Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, brothers, sisters, friends, enemies, and frenemies. This is Brother Rob Wilson. I did a longer vi longer live stream covering this video, but I wanted to make a shorter video to put on Rumble and TikTok. So we're going to cover a video I've done already, and this is the video in which Celestial barbecues her critics and wants them to go to condemnation. She equates criticizing her or calling her what she rightfully is a false prophet to blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. So we are going to um, watch this video again tonight, kind of for entertainment purposes only. And we're going to show what an evil, um, demonic and destructive woman this is who knows nothing about the grace of God. And as it says in Hebrews 12, 15, make sure that no one falls short of the grace of God and that no bitter root springs up among you and by it many become defiled. She has in fact fallen short of the grace of God and she's defiled many with her wickedness. We're gonna watch this video under the terms of fair use. Disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Okay, here we go. First of all, Marcus Rogers is not a Freemason. I want to tell you this because there is this. So this video, like I said, this video appears on TikTok and on her Facebook account. And it says here, um, what is she quoting? She's quoting, um, what is it, Mark? Uh, but he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost hath never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. So she equates her critics to blaspheme in the Holy Ghost. So she thinks she's Jesus because they have said he hath an unclean spirit. This <laughs> this scripture specifically refers to the Pharisees who rejected Christ. It does not have anything to do with celestial who is going out with the, this word from the Lord. It's more of accusation than it is a word from the Lord because Marcus Rogers has come out and stated that he is not doing this. And this woman consistently keeps throwing out these accusations. Who is the accuser of the brethren? I believe this to be more so a spirit of divination than it is a spirit of truth. And you guys have to stop judging prophecy based off of accuracy because then you might as well just be listening to a psychic. You might as well. This is straight witchcraft. This is a murderous spirit. This is demonic. It's not of God. <laughs> According to Celestial, God is going to kill. Get your popcorn, y'all. It gets good. LeBron James, something's going to happen at a game. He's going to fall down, lose his life. This is demonic. I've made videos about this prophet in the past before, and her followers get really upset when I call her out. So I expect a lot for this. She is, and I will stand on what I said before, a false prophet, a liar. And I've given biblical reasoning for that, and we'll discuss that again in this video. But like most prophets who make 100 prophecies a year, go to her YouTube and you'll see, eventually they're gonna have a video that goes viral because one of them comes true. Regurgitation prophecies and information online, you're, you're getting those, and then you're going back to the source. Make sure you get your popcorn. And by the way, she really blasts after this, at the end of this video with the bed to go playing uh, Pagani's video, she really blasts. She really has the the roar of the lion come in. Of course, that you heard it, and they're teaching you bizarre things and giving you strange, demonic, delusional, sci-fi movie <laughs> theater prophecies. And oh yeah, it. and you love it. You love it. You love it. They love it. Bed and go. And then they say, "Come, let us worship other gods, gods you have not known before." Do not listen to them. The Lord your God is testing, is testing you. Stop idolizing accuracy. The text here says that the prophetic utterance and the dream comes to pass. It actually says it. Most of you are defending all of these false people, celestial and all these crazy Watch. wonky <laughs> people. Ooh, that was vicious. Ooh. Speak forth the revelation of the Lord and condemn them in my words. And you think that God will sit and tolerate this? You see God going for the jugular. He's very angry. 
He's very upset. He's highly offended and he means to get you back. And since God is not a tit and tat, do for do type of person, he's not. He says, I bear long with the sinner. He says, I'm married to the backslider. No one would associate himself with people who have gone. He's not married to the false prophet, though, Celestial. You have nothing to do with the Holy One. You have everything to do with the evil one. You have done untold damage to the reputation and character of God. So far over the line, unless he was love personified. So when you see him going for the juggler, that means that you have done to God what ought never to be done. That means he is highly offended. I am prophet, master apostle, Marcus Rogers. Hey, listen, some of the people y'all call prophet and prophetess, this is what they look like to me. I'm really trying to be funny, y'all. This is serious. So she believes in aliens. She believes in aliens, but not. Okay, so she even featured me in this full length motion picture. And like I said on my longer video I did on this, this is not her forte. She doesn't use a lot of technology. On her prophecy blog, her false prophecy blog, she is, she can do what she's doing with her phone. She don't have any flames and overlays and transitions, nothing, y'all, nothing fancy. So she, this is like a major Hollywood promotion for Celestial. And she featured me in it. Yeah. Only are, is she believing in aliens. The aliens are demonic. What's wrong with you people? Demonic aliens. 203,000 followers. And this video has 59,000 views. And it was done five days ago. People love or hungry for lies. Mm -hmm. Itching ears. If you put a woman with this kind of <clears throat> grotesque imagination grotesque. as the screenwriter for Catherine Crick's TV shows and stuff. <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. They could rock Hollywood with this with this insanity. They could come up with some movies that you wouldn't even imagine. This is like she talks about movies all the time. This is like, this is like a, uh, it's, she calls it prophecy, but I mean, she could write a series of books like this, like <laughs> make the left behind series look like nothing. What kind of discernment do you have? If you can't discern what is teaching you, how on earth will you know what is a true prophet and what is a false prophet? How on earth will you be able to know what is called of God? Why is it that in this church, in this country, and around the world, those who are drinking the overflow of the contaminated cup of the so-called Christianity of the United States of America, which is no Christianity at all, this is an apostate church, lukewarm and dead, awaiting Jesus to bring an ax to the root of the trees. Why? This woman is a prophet of death, and people want to liken her to an Old Testament prophet. She's not likened to an Old Testament prophet. She's not. She's prophesying off of headlines and Google Trends and Apple News. I mean, she's a Google prophet. Um, Yeah, but I mean, her ministry is a ministry of death and condemnation and a hatred, a hatred of America, a hatred of American white women. I mean, she's got some grotesque and pornographic prophecies that um, they shouldn't even be uttered. And she claims that God showed her visions of sex prophecies and stuff, sex acts, homosexual sex acts, beads being shoved up people's rectums. And it is disgusting. And she's claiming God showed her pornography in a vision. Is it then that people will insist that they know what is true and what is false based on what? What are our general credentials? Those who know are quiet, they are meek. And then with your mouth, you pick up stones and you stone the messengers of God. You curse them and you say that they're false. You're you even false. do dangerous things like saying that the prophecies are coming by witchcraft and divination and you do not understand for the Lord does say in your ears that you don't even read the Old Testament or the new one. You don't study the New Testament and he said that you don't fully understand it. Because if you actually studied the Bible, you would understand that it's a terrible thing to blaspheme the Holy Spirit. And it's a terrible thing to attribute yourself to the Trinity because essentially to blaspheme the Holy Spirit, you're denying the works of Christ, not the works of celestial. Christ commanded us 
to test the spirits. He warned us in Matthew 24 to watch out for the rise of these ravenous false prophets. First John chapter four says, beloved, believeth not every spirit, but test the spirits if they are of God. And the church has tested you and found you fail the test. The spirit of prophecy is nothing more than Jesus himself speaking by his spirit. He says, since you cannot receive the words of his prophecy, which is his own testimony. So the testimony of the Lord is coming to you free of charge. The channel has no answer. The spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus Christ. And this woman has testified that we are no longer in the New Testament. We're in the Old Testament. This false prophet has testified that. So the work of Christ, is, she destroys the work of Christ. She brings the work of Christ by her prophecies to nothing. She says there's no more grace. The videos are long enough and carefully gone through so that you can lack nothing in your understanding. But so her prophecies are required for you to lack nothing in your understanding. She claims that her prophecies are required to lack nothing, not the scripture which God has given his, us his word. Can you say that an unclean spirit is speaking the words? You say that it is Baal and witchcraft and other things, and you do not understand that you are committing the sin that the, the Lord says he will not pardon. Well, in 1 Timothy chapter 4, it says, in the latter times, people will depart from the truth and give themselves over to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons. Every word that comes from your mouth that contradicts the scripture that God has given us is a doctrine from demons. It's not coming from God. Every thus saith the Lord that you say that God has not said and the spirit you operate in that's not holy. That is the sin of blaspheming the Holy Spirit. <laughs> And it's also says in first Timothy, the first chapter says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and a love and a sound mind. This woman, love is non-existent. This woman, she doesn't understand what love is. She doesn't understand the agape love of God. And these things that she does to try to scare her critics, cooking her critics. <laughs> um, also, she, she scares her followers. She intimidates her followers, calls them names, everything else, every name in the book. And um, yeah, those who put fear on the on the children of God, they have a lot to worry about. The torture, the mental, spiritual, the emotional torture that she's put her followers through. And these things about blaspheming the Holy Spirit to correct these false prophets and false teachers. Beloved, you are not blaspheming the Holy Spirit. And she's got some some followers of hers or some. Some weak people, and I don't mean that in a negative way, because there are weak people in the faith who don't know their word and don't know how to recognize this witch for what she is. Because she's producing witchcraft in people. People are more mesmerized by celestial than they are Christ. They, they elevated her above Christ. The Holy Spirit will give his witness of a prophecy, and then you will say, a demon speaks. To blaspheme the Holy Spirit is to attribute the words and the workings of the, the Lord's spirit to an unclean spirit. So the Holy Spirit will write a missive. He will pen a letter. So this is my second appearance. So she got me in here and she got a bed to go on for his second appearance. I think we're the only ones who get two appearances and that's kind of flattering too. So she thinks a lot of a bed to go and I, hey, a bed to go. We on, we on screen together, man. Like Paul to the churches. Imagine if the Corinthians had said, we perceive demons have sent this letter to us to tell us to stop sleeping with our mothers and to stop being. She compares her foolishness and her nonsense to scripture right there. there there's no comparison to what Paul wrote to the churches and your nonsense, ignorance, foolishness and witchcraft. None, no comparison. You're definitely not operating in the Holy Spirit. And I think it's more wicked than carnality can even produce. Fornicators of every type. That is how you blaspheme the spirit of the Lord. That is an unpardonable sin. I'm not sure what her whole title is, but apparently she, she calls her herself a prophet. So we got Corey Miner on here. I don't know why I, we must going to be having a second feature coming out. <laughs> There's a whole lot more folks. These must just be the heavy hitters. The heavy hitters who really got under this false prophet's nerves. So Corey Miner's on here.
So she could have got Kata. She could have got a few other people. But yep, she just got Corey. She's getting these downloads, these words of God from God. And apparently, I don't know how close they've been. Maybe something she said that has come that have maybe come true. I don't know. Uh, one of the things that's kind of big now that's kind of helped her to grow is something that she said about T.D. Jake some time ago. But last I checked. T.D. Jake is still there, and we don't know if what was said about him is true or not. The allegations are out there, but that's the point. The point is, should anyone listen to this person? No. But people no. have asked me, why don't I just cover her, what I think about her? Well, before I do, let me ask you guys a question. How many prophecies do you have to get wrong? How many false prophecies does it take to become a false prophet? One. That's all it takes. Don't listen to people when they tell you that a true prophet can be wrong. We don't have one example of a true prophet in the Bible being wrong she needs to be exposed and so if you haven't seen this brother his name is drew bloom 34 i highly recommend his channel too because he does a lot of uh one of the favorites of videos he does is what he calls friday fruit clips and he'll come out with uh the false prophet stuff he'll feature celestial i think you know i originally saw this video uh i think he did it on friday fruit clips but um <laughs> yeah Go subscribe to Drew Bloom and she seems to really have it in for him because she sends him down rapidly more so than anybody. I think she has a, a supreme hatred for Drew. And again, Celestial, if you're watching by chance, uh, I don't fear you even in the slightest. And anybody else out there, do not fear this woman. Do don't not fear. fear her witchcraft. She is a unequivocally a false prophet. Unequivocally. Oh, see how fast she, she put the lines. Okay, okay, we've waited, and the conclusion we've reached is that it's false. And then it was false for a while, but then it began to really show that Satan was on the ex I tell people this. Everybody ain't saying the same lie. Have you ever told anybody that? There's a lot of people, and they say, oh, it's that person, it's that person, that person, that person. But you got to figure, if there's a lot of people saying the same thing, is everybody telling the same lie? They could, but in this case, they're not. You are a lying prophet, what we've been told to mark and avoid and expose. Ephesians 5.11 have nothing to do with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. Exercise bike and working out. Now it's not false. Now it's actual divination. So it's not just, oh, she could be in error. And if a prophet speaks a thing and it comes not to pass, you shall not be afraid of him. No, no, no. Now it's gone into the girl from the book of Acts. Now it's straight up pulling from other spirits. Satan can prophesy too. Satan can get it right. Accuracy isn't the mark. Satan gets it right. So America, what you are saying is let's say it's not America. It's the uh, it's the children of God. And it's not prophets. People who are calling you out are not prophets. They're Christians. They're Christ followers. And um, it was Alexander Pagani who quoted um, from the Old Testament. I can't remember if it was Deuteronomy or Jeremiah, but it says if, if a prophet prophesies something that comes to pass. And that prophet tries to lead you to follow other gods that you have not known. Don't follow that prophet for that prophet for the Lord. Your God is testing you to see if you love him or not. So even if you had something accurate in your tool bag, which most of you, what you've said is not who you, what you're operating in is not the Holy Spirit. It's a different spirit. The Jesus you're preaching is not the Jesus of Scripture, because you said we're not in the New Testament anymore. We're in the Old Testament. You claim the earth is flat. You claimed Kamala Harris was going to become president. Joe Biden would not be a president for long. Okay. Lots of false prophecies. But what you're operating in, it's hatred. It's evil. It's contempt. It's despisable. This matter. So what you are basically saying is that Satan is so accurate that he's more accurate than God. Satan is a better prophet than the Holy Spirit. Second Thessalonians chapter two, the coming of the lawless one will be by the activity of Satan with all false signs and lying wonders. We've been specifically warned about you, Celestial. So we specifically prepared for you. God has prepared a people to expose the people like you, to reach God's sheep amongst wolves and try to call them out. This has come out of your mouths. And I honestly don't know whether it's by a turn to the left or the turn to the right that you're going to fix that blasphemy. You who have uttered these things. So what you are basically saying is that Satan, the despised, Satan, the rejected, Satan, the undead, King, Father, fallen angel, 
is so accurate in his accuracy that he could put together a compendium of this size, this depth. A compendium. <laughs> hey, I haven't used many sound effects on this. <laughs> I have a compendium. <laughs> It's a compendium of all lies will be exposed. That's all. It's a compendium of lies. This detail. And then you will attribute this full work to the workings of Satan. And then you will sit back at your house and you think that it will be well with you. You think having uttered that you will sit back at your house and then still say, I've narrowly avoided blaspheming the Holy Spirit. You're swimming in that lake. Nothing narrow about it. I mean, by a wide berth, we haven't blasphemed the Holy Spirit to reveal that you are false and you're wicked, very wicked. You're a divisive person, divisive. You're a hater of the church. You attack the bride of Christ and you are no bride of Christ. And I have no idea who's going to fish you out. The wise person is the person who simply said, I will reserve judgment. I will observe a little bit longer and I will also spend time with the Lord and I'm going. The wise person would be the one who repents of following you and if you had wisdom, you would repent of your lying divination and you would shut your channel down and you would confess all these things have come from your delusional imagination. But you're not going to do that because you like this. You get off on this. You get off on scaring people. You're a sadist and a sociopath to try and figure out what I'm hearing. But the ones who have spoken so loudly, these prophecies take a lot out of a person. They take a lot out of your mental health if you watch this n nastiness. They do. They take a lot. They're taxing to watch. This is a taxing work to actually get the MO of these people and see how false they are. I don't know what games they're playing on the other channels that you like. But I'm carrying my own cross. And I don't need any additional burdens added to it. I'm not playing games here. I will answer for my work. I will answer for these words. All of it will be tested by fire. You will answer, Celestial. You will most certainly answer for this. You'll stand before a holy, righteous God and answer for the fact that you said we're no longer in the New Testament. We're in the Old Testament. You will answer for the fact that you said grace has expired. You'll answer for all of the lying prophecies that you claimed that God gave you and didn't come to pass. You'll answer. For every word you said came from God and failed and how you turn people away from God to follow you. You'll answer for that. Undisputed. As will your response. I have always been responsible to tell you that you are not a spectator in these end times. You are making final life decisions with your words, with your understanding, with your response. With I agree. And if you go to the book, there's only one chapter there. It's Second John. And you read that it says anyone who receives a false prophet, someone who goes away from the teaching of doctrine or gives them any greeting, takes part in their wicked works. You streaming this woman into your home, into your ear, into your mind, through your phone or through your computer have taken partnership in her evil works and you will be held equally culpable for her evil because you have given her platform you're on her platform you're on you're subscribed to her channel you help her stuff trend you share her stuff and it's not from god you repent will you fight i've been saying it since the very first prophecies that were dismissed i am consistent and i thank <laughs> god that's because i have a blueprint i don't need to make up anything it's in the scripture and all I do is hear and write, read and deliver. So imagine now you have your comments everywhere on the internet. Deleting will do nothing because the Holy Spirit has already seen it. You have already said what you had to say. Your video is up and clicking up views. Good for you. God bless you. He says that you that so brazenly defended these that he will drag down. Their shame is going to be your shame when you see who you were defending for you are no better than them. If you cannot perceive or discern who they are, then he said, of course, you are going to imagine every word This is narcissistic projection. Every word that she's trying to put on others is true of herself and her followers. So every one of her followers who've come in to the comment section of all these men who tried to warn you that this woman is a wolf 
and she's evil. And you come into the comment section and you curse them and you uh, call judgment down from heaven and you are an ambassador of death and condemnation. You are partnering with a wicked woman, with a Jezebel. So what she's saying, this is narcissistic projection, saying of others what is true of herself. Worship them and support them. But when they are revealed to be nothing more than manipulators, liars, narcissists, performance artists, <laughs> all performance. of that, and petty criminals, let me not leave that out. He says they will be put to shame, but you also will be put to shame that defended them for Ooh. you are the same as them. Yeah, like, you yeah. also are manipulators and petty criminals because you supported them and you said that they were of God. He says publicly, you challenged me. And publicly you rejected me so publicly you have ridiculed my so to expose this wolf is she's conflating that with a public uh rejection of god no 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 evil woman you you are not in any way shape or form connected to a representation or an image of god what you portray is an image of someone who works for satan you're an evil person very evil messenger mocking her and calling her sorceress, witch, diviner, dreamer of dreams, mocking and trampling her under your feet like pigs, tearing her apart like dogs when she has only been scattering my pearls in obedience. These are not pearls. These are um, droppings of a creature of darkness, you know, and the way she manipulates and contorts scripture to apply it to herself. But she literally just showed visions of christians in hellfire that she believes she can put them in or god would put them in uh this is a different spirit he says i've seen you doing all this publicly so i'm now telling you publicly united states of america and the people within it as well as all those around the world who have participated in doing these same acts god is i thought she had a feud going with tiffany montgomery and Tiffany Montgomery called the whole world in to her feud with Celestial. And she had seven nights of midnight prayer. That was kooky for Cuckoo Puffs. But they both birds of a feather. They both false prophets. Then you will see his hand that will tear the proud down. Tear, his tear. hand that will tear down those who have spoken curses and mocked what is sacred. Nobody has cursed you, Celestial. We pray and thank God I've had numerous people comment on a video this video got me out of following her or many people have said the effects of following you how it they were in constant anxiety constant fear so people are coming out that's why people are doing this nobody's cursing you nobody's putting you in hellfire but we're warning you the hellfire is approaching you because you are a false prophet and you're doing a wicked deception on people i don't know if you're suffering from some form of mental illness or schizophrenia or bipolar or you need treatment you have a brilliant mind but it's a twisted mind it's a perverted mind it's a mind that does not know christ or the god of scripture humble you he said in front of the viewers you've been making your videos you've been doing your reactions you've been putting my assessment of the master's voice prophecy blog my thoughts look at this lie this is delusion this is that God says the clicks and the viewers you were trying to get to notice you, they will be watching when he puts you into beds of affliction. He says they will be watching when your tongue is made infected and when your throat is closed up. You're um, <laughs> this, you know, contradicts Jesus command to pray for your enemies, to do good to those who spitefully use you. And nobody's using celestial. I mean, celestial is using our followers. She's got to be making a fortune. I think she talks about her, her videos are not monetized, but she's got PayPal and she's got a um, cash app on her website. And you can bet fear is a highly motivating factor for people to give money. Large mouth. A cavernous mouth means a mouth that is very big, like a cave. You know caves. They have a, a normal size entrance, but when you get into... I like how she has to describe what a cave and a cavern are. <laughs> and, you know, this woman is uh, 10,000 prophecies a year. I mean, you got to... You got a whole other volume of Bibles from coming from this false prophet. And they are very big and large. That's what God is saying. The mouth that size that has been speaking lies will be closed 
for this is my anger against these false prophets. I will curse your tongue and seal your throat up like a tomb. You were accusing him. You always thought that you were cursing me. And now the owner of the blog and the prophecy has come now to join the conversation. So if you see here right to my, as you're looking at it, my right, this is a video. She's playing videos that have some cre credible and non-credible people. But this one here is a, a prophecy celestial spoke about dinosaurs. And I just ran across one where she's talking about werewolves and aliens. So, no, you know, there's no reason for anybody to call me a false prophet. Me? How dare you? How dare you call me a false prophet? Prove that he was never away too far. To prove that it was your ear that failed. For he says, you accused me. Who is the me? Is it me? The weakness that is sitting here? No. Capital M-E. You accused me of witchcraft. You accused me. Of divination you accused me of speaking evil and sorcery therefore i god who owns flesh i now accuse you of being the most foolish among men and i'm going to go to war with you now to pull down every high and exalted thing in this nation <coughs> so she added gunfire in there hmm she got some people she's going to call out because she, she ain't going to have, she ain't going to use God as her guard dog. Capital M-E, you accused me of witchcraft. You accused me of divination. Celestial. You accused me of speaking evil and sorcery. Therefore, I, God, who owns flesh. And look at, yeah, Drew Bloom pointed this out on his video. She points, she says, you accuse me, God. She equates herself with God. Um, no. Not so much. And you know, if we wanted to go to that, we could go to that. Because she included some shots in there. But um, we don't want we don't want you to go to hell, Celestial. We don't want you to be condemned for your false prophecies. We don't want to call fire down from heaven. We want you to repent. Because you will meet Matthew 7, 21 through 23. Many will come to me on that day and say, Lord, Lord. Did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works? And then I will tell them plainly, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. He doesn't know you. You don't know him either. I now accuse you of being the most foolish among men. And I'm going to go to war with you now to pull down every high and exalted thing in this nation. <laughs> Wild. This is a sick woman. To God be the glory she put on that. Uh, yeah, God kills people for celestial. Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at Luke chapter 9, verse 51. This is Jesus and his disciples. And in verse 51, it says, And it came to pass when the time was come that he should be received up. This is right before Jesus goes to the cross where those whom he loves he steadfastly set his face to go to jerusalem and sent messengers before his face and they went and entered into a village of the samaritans to make ready for him and they did not receive him because his face was as though he would go to jerusalem and when his disciples james and john saw this they said lord wilt thou that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them even as elias did but he turned and rebuked them. He rebuked them for wanting to do harm to those who didn't receive him and said, ye know not what manner of spirit ye are of. This is the spirit of God. Okay. This is, this is Christ saying, you don't know what spirit we're operating in here. And celestial doesn't operate in the Holy Spirit. Because it says here in verse 56, the son of man is not come to destroy men's lives. Celestial has come to destroy people. She's come to tell people there's no repentance. There's no more grace. There's no forgiveness. God hasn't said that. In fact, it says the son of man did not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they went to another village. They just moved along. But Celestial can't stand. She cannot stand to be revealed for who she is. This is Brother Rob Wilson. 
like I said, this is a shorter version. The other one was a live stream. Uh, we did it for a little bit of fun. We did this mainly for a recoup of it, just to upload the major contents of the video and to um, put out on Rumble and TikTok. And again, I'll probably post this to my regular The Love Agenda YouTube channel. This is Brother Rob Wilson. If you see any value in exposing false prophets or if you have any edification in the contradiction of what she says and comparing it to the what she says in the name of God to the word of God go ahead and hit the like button subscribe and drop a comment on is this operating in the Holy Spirit or is this woman operating in a different spirit grace peace and love in Jesus name amen